Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be talking about celebrities that predicted their own death. The Notorious B.I.G. On his Ready to Die album, the rapper said I wonder if I died. Would tears come to her eyes? I want to leave. I swear to God, I feel like death is fucking calling me. Biggie was killed on March 9, 1997 by an unknown assailant in a drive-by shooting in Los Angeles. Kurt Cobain. When he was only 14, Kurt Cobain told a classmate that he would become a superstar musician, get rich and famous, and that he would take his own life, going out in a blaze of glory. All his predictions came through, and he took his own life inside his Seattle home by a self-inflicted shotgun to the head. Bob Marley. The reggae singer told one of his friends that he would pass at the age of 36. Marley did indeed die at age 36 from skin cancer. Mark Bolan. He was so afraid of driving that he never even got his driver's license. It has also been said that he told his friends that he never thought he would reach the age of 30. Bolan died in a car accident two weeks before his 30th birthday. Princess Diana. Diana's legal advisor revealed notes of his conversation with Diana less than a year before she died. She expressed her fear that someone was staging a car accident to kill or seriously injure her. Princess Diana died in a car accident in Paris. Frank Pastor, the prominent baseball player and radio talk show host revealed on his morning show, his love for motorcycles, but also added, at any moment especially with the idiot people who cross the diamond lane into my lane, without any blinkers, not that I'm angry about it, at any minute, I could be spread all over the 210. On that same day, just three hours later, Pastor was hit by a drifting car on the 210 freeway and he died of his injuries. John Lennon, he documented his death in his song Borrowed Time. The lyrics read, living on borrowed time, without a thought for tomorrow. When the Beatles' manager got shot, Lennon said, I'm next. I know it. When asked how he thought he might die, Lennon replied, I'll probably be popped off by some loony. Lennon was shot five times by a gunman at age 40 on December 8, 1980. Mikey Welsh. On September 26, 2011, the bass guitarist tweeted about a dream he had. In the dream. He died in Chicago of a heart attack. On October 8, 2011, Welsh was found deceased in his Chicago hotel room from a heart attack. Tupac. He was asked where he would see himself in a few years. He said, best case, in a cemetery. Not in a cemetery, sprinkled in ashes smoked up by my homies. I mean, that's the worst case. In January 1995, Shakur who had survived five gunshots in a robbery, told a Vibe reporter, This is my last interview. If I get killed, I want people to get every drop. I want them to have the real story. Tupac was killed in a drive-by shooting on September 7, 1996 in Las Vegas. Proof. He was an American rapper and a close childhood friend of rapper Eminem. In his song, Proof sings, I'm in the club to beef. You gotta murder me there. Proof got into a fight at the CCC club in Detroit. During the altercation, shots were fired and Proof was killed. Left eye. While in Honduras filming a documentary, a boy was hit by a car she was traveling in. In the documentary, The Last Days of Left Eye, she shows the boy's shoes to the camera and says. His last name was Lopez. Isn't that something? The similarity in the last names was essential to Lopez because she believed that the spirit that was haunting her killed the child by mistake. A few weeks later, on April 25, 2002, Left Eye died in a tragic car accident, the same car that killed the boy. Out of the eight occupants, Left Eye was the only one who died in the wreck. Aaliyah. One month before her death, Aaliyah spoke to a German newspaper about a recurrent dream. She said, it is dark in my favorite dream. Someone is following me. I don't know why. I'm scared. Then suddenly, I lift off. Far away. How do I feel? As if I am swimming in the air. Free, weightless. 
Nobody can reach me. Nobody can touch me. It's a wonderful feeling. Aaliyah died when her plane crashed on August 25, 2001, shortly after takeoff from the Bahamas. Dalla. In his song Georgia Night, the rapper said waking up in cold sweats having dreams of going out with a bang. My papa died by the gun. I'll die by the gun. And if I ever have a son, he'll probably die by the same. Dalla was killed by a gunshot at only age 21. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy the video.